Well, I should have filmed this yesterday. The wind was blowing 25 to 30. It was even blowing the sand. And uh, it's still red flag day today. There's a reason they call it hotel breakers. These waves were twice the size yesterday. Now, granted, it's shallow and that's why they're breaking. But out Dusky Bay or Cedar Point Lighthouse, the waves were just crashing over that break wall. And I'll show later in the bay, it's calm today, but they could have had a surfing contest yesterday. Three to five footers breaking in Sandusky Bay. I didn't see a single boat. It would have been a, a, a roller coaster ride just to get out of the bay. It was really bad. So it looks like things are going to calm down for me. Today's Thursday. Mia's coming tomorrow on Friday. And we'll spend some time. And then Saturday, I'm checking out and sailing back. You can see the <clears throat> Avon Lake power plant when you're up on a ride, but you cannot see it from down here. And I don't know if that's because it blows, drops below the uh, the horizon and that 200 foot elevation difference. I'm not sure. Today is actually a nice day to go in the water. My brother's supposed to be here at four. I might check with him. We'll go in. It's just hard to see from here what the conditions are. They're still calling for three to five footers today, occasional six footer, and then the wind's supposed to switch and come out of the south tonight. That'll probably really calm things down. We're going to take a walk out on the beach walk here. There's a trail that goes out to the point. To imagine you're in a amusement park when you're standing here. I'm out on the point now, you see the bay markers. The waves were literally crashing up over those yesterday. It was as rough right here as it was on the other side, the breaker side. And they've got a little bit of a break wall here. And I had walked down this way, and I'm thinking to myself, gee, I wish I had my camera off to get this tomorrow. Because it's supposed to blow hard again tomorrow. Now, it's going to pick up. But this was all the further I could go. The water crashing over little jetty there, not a break wall, but a jetty, it was splashing all the way here. And now this is inside the mouth of the bay. The, the, the waves, again, it was like you could have had a surfing contest in here. At least three to five feet and maybe higher. And there's a buoy. I don't know, I, gotta, I couldn't walk this far yesterday. Where's it at? There. Because I walked out from that tree, I walked out to that point. That buoy, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it was bouncing up and down. It was literally the whole length of the buoy was up to the horizon line and then the bottom was the, the length of the buoy below the horizon line the way it was bouncing up and down. Now again, I've seen rough water, but when you're in here, the pitch on these waves. Let's see if we can look down more of them yesterday against these rocks. You're only looking at 15 to 20 feet. Crest to crest. It's pounding. If you're in any type of boat under 40 feet, under 30 feet, you are being pounded. And it was howling. Yeah, it's been windier, but it was pretty darn impressive. And last night, my God, 
God, we were getting hit with 35 mile an hour gusts after my brother said goodbye. And I've got everything tied down, but that boat was just shuddering on the dock lines. Actually not a bad day for a sail once he gets out of the bay. I don't know if you can see how he's how hobby horse and it's just uncomfortable. It's not fun. Not for me anyway. It's work. Everything you do you're grabbing on. What a contrast. I missed the ferry going out. I got up a little too soon. I could have watched it. Hobby horse on its way out. The contrast between looking east and looking west. Hard to imagine. Got a water park, an absolutely top world class amusement park, typically called the roller coaster capital of the world. To your point. Millennium Force coming in and next to the last corner. Headed home, had enough at Cedar Point, where we had some windy nights, blowing 35, things rattling all over, tying stuff down. And then on the way out, Mark, that should have been a knot. Have that fancy sailor work there to come loose. So I got the boom just laying here going to make it a pain in the butt. I'm just trying to get clear of the bay and get out in some open water and then get the main up. It should be a broad to beam reach on the way back depending on what the wind does. 5 to 10 waves, 1 to 2, so it shouldn't be a bad trip back home. It's supposed to get hot and sunny though, 80, 85. they had said.
cleared Huron. We're going pretty well, about eight miles an hour. So the air gets dirty once in a while, it drops down to six. We can get as good as ten if it's clean if it stays clean for a while. My battery's almost dead, so this may be the last I fill. Might be another hour and a half, two hours to Vermillion and an hour to Lorraine. Maybe a little faster. Probably about that. Not bad, I can sit here comfortably as long as my nav unit keeps doing the sailing for me. Got a reef. set of two footers that comes in and splashes a little bit. But this is, I don't know if it shut off because of the battery. Said that when we get up towards that point where it's just all sloppy in here, all of a sudden it's coming both ways. As we get closer to the point of land over there, the water should clean up a little bit. We'll find out. Alright, not a battery.